Non-citizen travelers should be prepared to verbally attest to their COVID-19 vaccination and status for the reason for travel to the U.S. That's now changing at midnight tonight. New rules go into effect at our border. All travelers from Mexico, essential and non-essential, must show proof they're vaccinated against COVID in order to get into the United States. Back in November, essential travelers did not have to be vaccinated. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing joins us live from downtown McAllen to explain the change. And Christian, the new rule could have an impact on the Valley's economy. Dina, we're waiting to see because that change could have an impact on stores and businesses like the stores down here. The ones to traditionally cater to a lot of Mexican shoppers, they're waiting to see what happens as a result of this. But local officials say they've been working ahead of this deadline. Starting Saturday, the requirements to get across the bridge to the U.S. from Mexico and at all ports of entry will be physical proof that you're vaccinated. Local governments working to make sure the impact to our economy isn't as strong. Are we concerned about it? Possibly a little bit, but we, we hope it doesn't affect us too much. McAllen Mayor Javier Villalobo saying one of the preparations for this was the city steps to make sure maquiladora workers in Reynosa were vaccinated so supply chains in the U.S. wouldn't break down. And far, the Chamber of Commerce also echoing the thought that the impact won't be as strong and that cities have taken steps to repair. The largest cross-border industry, trucking and transportation, included in this change. I think the one that we're the most concerned about is truck drivers because as you know, here in the border, we depend a lot on, on transportation and commerce. And that's one of the things that never stopped even during when the bridges were closed. If we have people to come work in restaurants. That's a little bit different because we still have a lot of people here that can fill those jobs. The government announced the change back in October. This week, the city of Donna prepared a program to vaccinate up to 2,000 Mexican nationals per day at their bridge. The city's working to minimize the impact. I think they were pleasantly surprised during the pandemic, which, of course, we're still experiencing, that we are self-sustaining. So we did well, even without the Mexican shoppers. We do even better when it's open. The rule starts Saturday, put in place to slow down the spread of COVID. Now, this rule does not apply if you are a U.S. citizen or a U.S. resident and you're trying to get back into the United States. Meanwhile, businesses down here will wait to see what happens as a result of this change. Reporting live, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.